Hi guys, this is Tom from Warforge Miniatures, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Tyranids my set explore. Now please bear with me, my first tutorial I've done, hopefully things will get better. For the main body of the spore, I used a polystyrene egg. You can pick these up from most hobby shops, I got this one, I think about £2.50 in Hobbycraft. Well first off, I mark the area that I'm going to cut out. Now I don't need to tell you guys to be careful here, not because it's sharp or anything, but of course you don't want to get caught using a white best kitchen knife like I did. It didn't go down well. Next I used a heat gun. This gives a great scaly effect on the egg, but what I should have done was use a darker background. You can't really make it out on here unfortunately. Prime the egg using Vallejo Grey Primat, the airbrush I'm using is a Badger 360. For the interior of the egg, I used Vallejo Model Air Gunship Green, followed by a highlight of Duck Egg Green. After that, I went back and used some Citadel Scorpion Green. The exterior of the egg, I used Vallejo Model Air Scarlet Red for the bottom half, the top half was done with Fire Red and then the very top of it was done with Mahogany. For the ripper tentacles I use milliput, however I think green stuff would probably be a better idea here as it's not as brittle as the milliput actually is. I use reaper tan highlight for the tentacles and the very edges were sprayed with filial fire red. To make the base to sit the egg on you use pretty much anything you want. I happen to use an old CD that was lying around there, great, perfect for it. It was a Robbie Williams lace through the lens so my ears could never be offended by that again. After the base was dry, I then covered the base in PVA and then used some dark green flock on it. After that I put a few spots of light green flock, followed by some light green and dark green clump foliage. Once that was all dry, I then covered the inside with some water feature.
And that's it guys, simple as that. Now I understand it's not painted very well, but this is a tutorial on how to make it, not how to paint it. So please like the video, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And keep your eyes open for more tutorials on how to make or how to paint things coming from Warp Forge Miniatures. I've been Tom, thank you very much.